Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are doing the project events app, right? So we are learning about the event listeners in the React, how it will be implemented. So before continuing into the project, so just I want to make, make a look at the state in the React, how the state concept will be implemented in the React. This is the most important thing. So why? Because up to now we haven't used the state thing in our, in our early project. And in this project, we need to use the state. And throughout this center course, we will be using this state thing. And before continuing, so just I want to have a quick overview of this state in the React. Why? Because this is pretty much important in this uh, React JS. So well, let's try to learn about this one. We need to make the component interactive for, for that. As I have already mentioned, we need state. So normally, we need to make the component interactive. So in order to make the component as an interactive, we need a state. State is the most important concept in the React. Everything basically revolves around the state in the React. So that's why we will keep learning about the state throughout this React course. Throughout this React course, we will be learning about the state. We will be always discussing about the state and all those things. As I already told you in the first, in the starting in the beginning of the course only, the state is the one of the important thing. Data drives the UI. Here in the React, data drives the UI. So that is the thing, nothing but a state. Let's learn what is state and why do we need it. We need to learn how to actually use state in practice using the use state or user, user hooks or the context API or even external tools like Redux. So normally in the React, we will be using the, we will be making use of the states in these, in these following hooks like use state, use red user hooks or the context API or even external tools like the Redux. So we'll try to learn about these all the things one by one. So state in practice, normally we will be using the state in practical with using these three things, use state, use red user, context API. We will learn about these all the things in the upcoming course videos. So just I am trying to explain you how we can use the state in the React. We also need to deeply understand how to think about the state in React. So this is also very much important for the front end developers who are learning the React. We need also need to deeply understand how to think about the state in React. Thinking about state means when to use the state, where to place the state and the types of state available. So these are the three things which you, you need to think before implementing the state in the React. So we have learned how to pass the data into a component by using the props. So this concept I have already we have learned in our previous video how to pass the data into the component using props, which is the data that is coming from outside the component. So the data, it is coming from outside the component. So the, the data is not present in that component. It is coming from outside. That is called as a props data. But what if a component needs to actually hold its own data? So for example, let's say that if the component ha needs to have its own data, then what it, what we need to do and also hold it. So, and also it should hold it over time. So that's where finally state comes into the play. State is basically a data that a component can hold over time. So this is the main definition of this one as we use it for information that a component needs to remember throughout its life cycle. So this is the state is the data. So which we will be using, which we will be holding over the time. And also it is used as an information that a component needs to inform and remember it throughout its lifestyle life cycle. Therefore, we can think of state as being the memory of the component. So this is one of the so like the brain of the component or anything, whatever the name you want to mention it, you can mention it. It is called as a memory of the component. So piece of data or the state variable is a single variable in a component. So normally what I can say is state means it's a collection of the piece of states or collection of these variables. So whenever I try to say the piece of state means it's a single variable in a component. That is nothing but a component state. The term state itself is more about the entire state that the component is in. So the term state, if I try to tell you, tell you that is nothing but the entire state. So combination of the pieces of states, everything that the component has, that is called as a state. Updating component state triggers React to re-render the component. So whenever you try to update the component's state, it will directly re-render the UI. So re-render the component means the view, da view data. Generally, when one single component is rendered, we call that one as a view. So if you have a single component and when it is rendered into the project, so we'll call it as in view single component. So all the views combined together, then make up the final user interface. 
so this is also one important concept which you need to remember so all the views combined together so that means all the components single single components combined together makes up the final user interface here we call it as in sometimes component or sometimes we call it as in view also state makes the ui in sync with the data if we change the state we change the ui so this is what we have discussed at the beginning of the course so if we change the data so data drives the ui so here the state drives the ui so state makes the ui in sync with the data if we change the state we change the ui so automatically the, the ui will be changed in summary state allows developers to do two important things so here in summary in the summary complete so what i want to tell you is so state allows the state allows the developers to do two important things one is allows to update the components view so there by rendering it okay by re-rendering it here allows the to update the components view second one is state allows developers to persist local variables between multiple renders and re-renders state also makes the component so if the component is re-rendering or anything means it will make it will try to make the variables local data persist so that means it remain as it is if you think about this state is basically a tool in fact it is the most powerful tool that we have in the react so that is the one i want to tell you so here the state is basically so don't think that something else state is basically a tool in fact it is the most powerful tool that we have in the react so understanding how the state works and what it does will unlock the power of react development so this is the what i want to tell you so we need to understand how the state actually works and what it does then we can understand that uh, we can understand the clear power of the react development so this is what about the state now in our project we'll try to see how we can use the state how the state will be useful for us in our event listeners app so this is all the basic introduction of the state so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you